Hello friends in this video I will show you how to use PHP object oriented programming for delete or remove records or data from MySQL table. In previous video I will show you how to insert data, how to fetch data and show in table or show in HTML form and how to update MySQL data by using PHP object oriented programming concept. Friends for delete records from my SQL table, I have database class, in this class I have make one delete function for delete data from table. For this I have make one public function delete with two parameter. One is table name for define table name and second parameter is where condition which is one associative array in which I have defined where condition for find which data you want to delete. In this function first I have defined one variable condition with blank value. In this variable I will store string which generate from where condition array. Now friends I have used for each loop with where condition as key array value. With help of for each loop we can divide where condition into two parts one is key and second is value. Friends with help of this code we can generate string for where condition which I will use in delete query. But friends here string with one extra word and so I have want to remove this word. For remove this and word I have write condition variable is equal to substring function with first parameter is string is equal to condition, second is start position is equal to zero and end position is equal to minus five. With help of this code we can remove extra word and with space. Now friends I have write query variable is equal to delete from table name which is defined in this function parameter. After this I write where with condition which I have generated above and store into condition variable. Friends our delete query is ready, now I want to execute this query for this I have write of statement with condition miscly query with parameter like database condition string reference con and second is query which I have store into query variable. If this query successfully run then it will return true. Now friends I want to implement this function on test class.php page. On this page I have already include database and I have create one object data from this database class. Friends when you run this test class.php, you see that we have already make link for delete in my select or fetch data from my SQL table using PHP object oriented programming. Friends when you check code of this delete link I have used anchor tag with attribute graph. It in class. Href is equal to hashtag, and it I have store posted and class is equal to delete. This delete class will use inch query as selector. Now friends I have moved inch query code. When user click on delete link then at the time one pop-up message will appear and ask user are you sure you want to delete this post? For this I have used class selector delete from delete link with query click event. In this code first I have defined one variable posted and in this variable we want to store posted value. For getting posted value I simply write dollar this selector with method attributed. So when user click on any delete link we can get posted of that delete link. After this for display message I simply write if statement, in if statement I write confirm with message are you sure you want to delete this post. If user click on OK button then page must be redirect to test class dot php question mark delete is equal to one and posted is equal to posted variable in which we have store posted value and if user click on cancel button it will return false. Now friends check in browser. 
friends when I click on delete button then at that time message box appear if I click on OK button then page is redirect to new link in this link you can get delete action which is delete is equal to 1 and second is posted. With the help of this data you can make delete action and if I click on cancel button no action will perform. Now friends I have moved to implement delete function for this first I have to check if any delete request is generate or not. For this I have write of statement, in if statement I have used set function with parameter $getDelete and again write set $getPostIt. With the help of this code we can confirm delete action is fire with PostIt. After this I have defined where variable. In this variable I have store where condition in associative array format. In array key is posted and value is dollar get posted. Now friends I have implement delete function which I have defined in database class. For this I have write of statement. In if statement I write data object of database class with delete function with two parameter. One is table name is equal to table post and second parameter is where condition is equal to where in which I have defined where condition data. If this function successfully run then page must be redirect to main page. For this I have write header function with location is equal to test class dot php question mark deleted is equal to 1. friends with help of deleted word and URL is used for display post deleted message. For this I have write of statement, in this statement I have used set function with parameter $get deleted. If this action performed then in success message variable I have store post deleted message and this message will display on web page after delete action is performed. Now friends I have checked this code output on browser. friends post deleted successfully, that means our code is working. So, friends this is my video on how to use PHP object oriented programming for delete or remove data from my SQL data table. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.